Then just kind of like a squat, like a grand plie. Lift your arms. Bring it. Your arms out to the sides is nice. So you just kind of go one way towards the side and one way towards the other side. Kind of going back and forth. Instead of back here around this way, come towards the middle like you're in the grand plie. We'll reach this way. Then go back to the center and reach that way. I like this position, kind of lifting the heels and lowering them. Feels nice. Then take your hands on the back. Press yourself up. Grab on, lift your heels, and wave yourself, pushing your arms out so they're wrapping tight and you're holding a releve. Lift your releve. You can heel to the toes to back together. We're going to bring the hand to your lower back, right above your bum. Step back and keep it there with your hands, tiptoe forward. Lift one knee up. Try to keep that other leg low, lean back, and then you can slide your hands up. So you want to find your, your core here. Bring your other knee up. Knee is wide to saucer. Scoot your hands up and look over your toes for a moment so you feel those core muscles, maybe those upper core. Oh, you know what else I did twice last week? What? Eight minute abs oh, for 1994 for or something like that. Oh my gosh, really need my abs burn. Because <laughs> we haven't done those workouts in a while. Good. You can open your legs wide, slide, heads, uh, feet together, hands to the floor, relax for a moment. Say, just no pressure, just stay in the middle, feet together, knees wide, engage your muscles, your upper rectus abdominis, so your ribs are pulling together, you're pulling the Mula banda, your pelvic floor muscles in. Relax your shoulders. Mula banda are the kegels? Yes, that is the kegels. And mula dara is the root. Mula adhar is root chakra. Oh, and mula adhar? I think mula dara. Yes, mula adhar. Relax your face. Relax your lips. Keep pulling in the muscles, draw your tailbone towards your heels, open your knees wide, you might feel that in your thighs or your hips. Just go to your max, not past your max, shake your head no. This is a release for your spine, shake your head yes. Relax your face a moment. Hook your feet on the hammock into monkey wrap. I don't know if you can see me here. Yeah. And then take one leg off, stretch it out. Take your hands off the ground and just reach them behind you. Then hook that foot back on. Just bend the knee and hook the foot around again. Bend the knee and just bring your foot up. Good, you got it. Bend your knee and hook your foot around just like your other foot. Got it, perfect. Then take your other arm, I mean your other leg off to the side. Just point your toe and reach your leg. Bring your hands behind your back if you can. Just hold your hands on your back. And then again, bend your knee and bring your foot back. Grab your hands to the hammock above your thighs, in between your bend of your knee. And then bring your feet to the other side. Scoot your hands up so you're halfway. Not coming out of the hammock yet, you're just in the saucer, taking a moment, letting kind of the blood rush back, you can take your feet off. Oh, oh to the other side. Yeah, you want to grab it under your feet and then bring your feet off. You got it. Then scoot up halfway, just kind of regulating a little bit so you're not getting up too fast. Slowly step one foot down and then the other, let it slide to your upper back. Release and just relax for a moment. Soften your knees. Just be easy with yourself for a breath. And then we're going to take it into a different position. So we're going to open the hammock up. Wave your hammock. You want me to be on that side? Go stay on this side so you'll be able to see in the mirror from this way. So you want to gather nine gathers. Just grab it and reach back nine times. Step back, elbows in. I like this song. So we're going to press the hammock down. You're next to you. Lift your knee up and sit. 
then take your angel wings. So this one we're going to uh, watch me for a moment while I get in and then you'll get in. So you take the edge, you can do this part with me. Just take the edge to your fingers, unroll it, and press your hands out so it's nice and long. These are your angel wings. The hammock goes to your shoulders and you lay down and then you take your pinching fingers and grab here and here. Place your thumbs inside and then touch those two thumbs together. That's your neck wrap. That's going to wrap you up. Then your thumbs go out to the sides and on and your fingers go inside. You could, you got that. So we've done this before. So this one we're going to hang from our neck in back. So I want you to clasp your hammock with your thighs. So you bring your calf muscles to your thighs and pull your knees up and that covers your bum. Then you would push with your fingers. These fingers that are wrapped up here, push towards the window as you bring your knees towards your face and you'll roll onto your shoulders. If your hammock doesn't feel right, you can adjust your neck always. If you're okay, just kind of hang out for a moment. So let your, your body get used to what this is, to what's doing to your body. Taking a moment, I'm just gonna get my, fix my neck. And the way you fix it is just sitting back up again. You okay? Yeah, you look good. As long as you feel good too. It's more about how you feel here. If it feels like it's slipping, if you feel like you need to come out. I feel out. good. Just like I feel like my arms are hurting. I'm you holding. might be tightening too much. Yeah, you don't have to hold so much here. You're just like a light fingers. Like you don't want to like squeeze too much. You're hanging literally from the shoulder area. So you want to just relax for a moment. To get into the core here, we take the knees from the chest up into like a chair position. And this actually is nice because it helps us to get awareness of our body. So when we're in a headstand on the floor up against the wall or in the middle or whatever, and we want to come into that extended position because we start out like this with the knees on our belly, and then we lift the knees up and we straighten the legs up in a headstand. Well, right now we're in a shoulder stand for aerial. So it's the same movements, knees to the belly, knees away from the chest, and then lift up. So it's called bat when the knees are here in the belly. Right. It's called extended bat when we lift the knees away from the belly and you're like a chair. You're just and then, my dizziness? Yes, that's okay. You can come out at any time. And this is good because coming into a hands behind and leaning forward pulls on the shoulders here. So you want to keep the shoulders in there and lean into it. And it's a nice release for the neck after the compress decompression you just did for the neck. So, that's why it's a, it's a great massage because you're bringing your body into these different positions where the hammock is pushing on you and you can try again if you feel okay. So we're going to go into straight legs and then heels and then we take our mitten hands, so fingers together, thumbs out, pop your heels out so your feet are showing like mine. So it's called a heel trap, then thumbs in, I think that uh, the dog hears fear I come in, that's why she keeps barking. So we want to bring it to our back belt line. Sometimes when it's here, I feel for me it's hard, so I have to lift myself up, like really grab onto it and place it. So if that's happening for you, we don't want it in the soft tissue, we want it in that tough part of our back. So we're coming into here and you're automatically in hollow body when you pull yourself, kind of you get into place, then lift your hands up and look towards your toes and you're in that hollow body position. But you have it to dolphin. Now this is not for everybody, but you want to go slow, see if you feel comfortable because the way you go back, you want to slowly go back. Now it's the same thing, it's going to hook your back, it's not going to go anywhere. It's just the angle of your head, I want you to go slow to your, kind of your period and stuff. And then if you're comfortable, you can release your hands. And then the next step would be to release your feet. You bend one knee, you pull it, you can hold it here too. I'm so nauseous. As I said, go slow, and then lean forward, let your chin go forward. Relax your face, just let yourself recenter here for a moment. Relax your face, just let yourself you grab on. Here. Rocking cradle this much. Straight legs up, straight legs down, and then lean back. Stack your arms. Just to make sure all the nausea, you're steady. Take a breath. Then grab on, tiptoe forward till you're in the middle. Take your hands to the grip to grip and your elbows inside. Then slowly sit your butt down, bring your, your body all the way to the floor, your head down, your hands down. Then take your, you can put your feet in. So kind of flex your feet. Take a moment, your head to the ground. Woo, good job. And roll down. Roll up, roll down. 
Lift up, hold yeah. up. Take one leg out, straighten it up. And then we're going to go down and up. So you're going straight down instead of rolling. Need that reach too, they feel much. Down and up. Good, hold it up. Just hold it here. You can go down and up with the leg. So you go lower than the leg wrapped and then back as high as you can. Breathe. Keep those hips lifted. One more and then we're going to switch the legs. So lift it up as high as you can. Bring that heel in. Bring the other leg up and just begin lower and lift. Down and up. Straight down. Reach up. Relax your face. Hold it up. Good, lower and lift. Relax your expression, deep breath. Hips are rising up. This is my little crampy toes. And bring it in. Frog legs, hips lift, heels in. Squeeze the thighs. I'm trying to do more for my back. I feel like this is a little for our backs. And one more time, extend out, lower, roll through it like a bridge, and then roll back up. And go easy with your body. All the way up high, all the way down low. Try to articulate that lower back. Last one down. Release your feet. Grab on with your hands. And lift yourself up. And because we didn't wrap our hips once, get into that hip wrap. Just once. Just kind of bring it into the crease. Release yourself into pyramid. So an aerial pyramid is here. It's like a downward dog, but it's, I feel like it looks kind of like a teepee. It's so like a triangle in the middle. Relax, just hang here from your hips for a moment. So you're gonna bend your knees, heels to butt. Sway yourself by pressing into your hands. Flying dog. Hook your feet. They go around the outside edges. And then we pull ourselves up to wheelbarrow. Pull your belly and your ribs in. Sink it down to wishbone. Chest towards the floor like down dog. And then sway and wishbone sways. Swooping yourself one way or the other. Just feels really nice on the side body after everything. Bring it back forward. Feet down. Walk forward. Throw that habit behind your back. Back lean. Stacking the arms. Take a moment here. One more time of chillax position. So it kind of centers you from getting up. All that movement. Steady your eyes if you're feeling any uneasiness, queasiness or anything like that. Bend your knees too. That's nice. Just to release. Just releasing your hips side to side. Roll it up to stand. And mountain. Side a little. Mountain pose. It's like 10 after ish. Just take a moment, feel the ground. Just take a moment, feel the ground. 